is good. <laughs> so we are going to be talking about what I have learned tapping into the Divine Feminine. Now, we have to remember that the Divine Feminine is just one aspect of the polarizing nature of reality and energy. And <clears throat> on the other aspect, we have the Divine Masculine. And so these Divine Points for us um, can be shown in all things. And yes, we have X and Y, or male and female um, beings that manifest this understanding of energy. And so there are a lot of characteristics that are connected. Okay, I don't need to explain man's. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, um, yeah, um, okay, so the three top things I have learned from the Divine Feminine. The story time, I realized that I feel like I probably have a lot more masculine energy in my outward or internal to outward expression. And at, at times I felt like I was actually kind of uh, got to do, 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 and then go and, and run away from my emotions in a certain sense of way. And that included the feminine aspect. And again, it makes sense with the polarization of this energy. But, um, okay, I feel like it's something that scared me personally for a long time because it is the darker aspect where the masculine is usually seen as the sun, something positive and something that is more um in that aspect of the energy you could say more pure in a way but the divine feminine has this, this other beauty which is also a darker um more the moon energy our emotions and and there's a lot within that so i've learned a lot tapping more into this feminine energy or actively and mentally allowing myself to be aware of how I am tapping into this energy and uh, yeah so let's see these three things hopefully you have maybe resonated with or felt and um, hopefully you can share also what you've learned in the comments as you watch this all the way and okay so let's just get into it food for thought right now I think that the the first thing that has helped me and I have realized I guess a result of tapping more into um, <clears throat> this divine feminine energy is that there are about imbalances within feminine energy that you have to be aware of and you know the the feminine side you can have a lack which would result in you know hyper masculine which I can see in the feminist movement a lot of feminists are fighting for masculine things if that makes sense and so that's on the, the side of the spectrum where there's a lot of feminine energy and you can also have um something kind of like a jezebelian spirit which is just kind of like um jeez man there's a lot uh, gosh we could get in the victim mindset it's almost like When there's a lot of divine feminine energy, and I'll be real, uh, there's an imbalance in how the feminine energy and the masculine energy we are kind of perceiving in, in many ways, but <sighs> I know I'm trying to get into like what I've learned, but <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so... Yeah, there's a balance with the feminine energy. I can totally make another video on just feminine energy and the balances between what that hyper feminine and, you know, maybe deficient feminine energy would look like. But hopefully these examples and what I have learned will help you as well. And you can use these as tips to assist you if you are wanting to understand this energy more understanding that it is kind of the attraction force and so the first thing that I've learned is really just drawing drawing is 
and drawing in a way that is loose, very loose. Um, I used to, you know, draw from what I saw, and it was very technical, and nothing wrong with that, it's awesome, and I find a lot of peace and joy, but in this period of my life, I realized that I kind of give myself permission to just make a lot of mistakes on the pages, and I made a lot of mistakes on the pages, because that is the beauty in it, and it always comes together at the end. It's actually so cool. So that's the first thing I have learned, tapping more into this feminine energy, that um, when I draw or when I create, I can be more flexible and fluid, and it's allowed me to do things I maybe not would have thought of um, by kind of just surrendering into the creative flow and not so much the result. <coughs> so that's been really cool. And, um, yeah. Now the next thing I have learned with this feminine energy and tapping more into it and understanding my own expression and balance with it is, uh, attraction. Like, the law of attraction is, is really what I will say. I've realized my power when it comes to creating my reality based off of what I'm drawing it. What do I mean? Well, this is usually very evident in like my mind and what I'm thinking. And so when I think of things, let's say that are in a narrative that maybe I don't really want, um, a toxic part would be maybe blaming somebody else for what I'm actually paying attention to in my own reality. Um, they're really just bringing that up, right? They're just bringing awareness to it. So with the law of attraction, it's allowed me to kind of, well, kind of draw my spirits, my energy, to what I'm wanting to create more of. And a lot of the times, that's kind of also surrendering to what I see that I don't really want to attract, right? I just kind of don't give it any energy, and, and it just faces through. So that's, that's another thing I've learned, tapping into the feminine, and okay, and now the last thing I've learned is actually about nurturing and nurturing the earth. And I have realized the importance that death plays, and not in, I don't know, some way that somebody's gonna take this, but I mean, like, and I'm gonna use this description because of this video, right? Or it's uterine linings kind of shed. And so the old wall, in a way, dies. It's down from the body. Yet, like, period blood is really good for plants. And, and, you can also just kind of tap more into, in a way, honoring the things that are passing and surrendering to them a little bit more and allowing yourself to like just collapse in the flow of what's happening like i'm not sure how to like almost like trust falling and trusting that the loved one is going to catch you uh, but this doesn't really mean like literally not doing anything and thinking somebody's gonna take it it just means that you're now like okay i can fall and Did it's you take gonna a shower be okay already? no and so, with that being said, I'm learning about taking care of myself. I'm working on that in terms of the physical and kind of giving that attention back in, which again, I think is a very feminine energy. And it is important to kind of take care of yourself in terms of like grooming. And uh, yeah, there's a practical aspect to that as well. But um, there's also a, a like pleasing kind of pleasurable aspect of taking care of yourself and so we're tapping more into that and tapping more into just allowing allowing that 
to be uh, more evident. But yeah, that is all I have for, you know, what has helped me tap more into the feminine energy of life and um, what that looks like and what that means. And I am going to take a shower. Thanks, Becky. And yeah, peace. <laughs> I feel like I can.